Hello and welcome. This is Rufal Monger, my friends. We got some really big, really good news. And maybe, honestly, maybe some kind of bummer news too. But we'll save that for a minute here because I'm sure you've read the title of the video. You know what's up, so let's just say it. Dragon Ball Fighters, after all these years, and it's been a long time, my friends, Dragon Ball Fighters is finally going to be updated with rollback netcode. You know, the good stuff that makes video games work online that <laughs> only became the standard last year and we're so far behind every other genre of game. It's pathetic, really. But hey, we finally got it, right? That's sick. That's great. Uh, a timeline? We don't got that. We don't know when it's actually going to come, but it will come at some point. This was announced after the top eight finals for Dragon Ball Fighters, which were fantastic, by the way. Truly some great games played. And, well, that's just peachy. That's fantastic. So once again, Dragon Ball Fighters will finally, after many years, get rollback netcode, and we'll get an update sometime in the future when exactly that'll be. So that's the fantastic news. Now, here's where I maybe got to lower your mood just a little bit. Because there is some negatives here. Negative number one. In their own specific words, Dragon Ball Fighters, as of the last patch, has been tuned to its finest. Maybe you agree or disagree with that, but that's what they say. And with that, that means Dragon Ball Fighters is now done. There will be no more characters coming to the game. There will be no more balance changes or patches or whatever. The game is as it is now for the rest of time. If you're happy enough with the game in its current state after the most recent patch, that's fantastic. If you hoped things could be changed, or you were like finally hoping for like King Yama to be a playable character, not gonna happen. Dragon Ball is now, this is it. This is the final version of Dragon Ball Fighters. Nothing else is gonna change in the future. Although that said, it's good in a way because now they can finally start working on Dragon Ball Fighters too, right? Like let's let's get this ball rolling. So. That said, there is one big asterisk here on the rollback netcode. So there will be rollback netcode on the PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X and S version. So yes, uh, by indirect way, they have confirmed there will now be a PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S versions. That will be coming some point in the future. Those guys get rollback netcode. But what this means is the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions do not get rollback netcode. They will stay on the same old crappy delay we've been dealing with all these years. But don't worry. They said they'll provide upgrade paths for you. Uh, PlayStation 4 versions, Xbox One versions, you can upgrade path to the new console generation versions. So that's great. Except for one little thing here. And this is what has me kind of worried. Because, as much as I love Dragon Ball Fighters over the years, this is Bandai Namco we're talking about. Do you remember having to pay for frame data in Tekken and how kind of scummy that was? This is what I'm worried about. If these upgrades are free, perfect, no problem, great. But what if they aren't? What if, say, you're on the PS4 version and you want the PS5 version that has the good netcode because it won't be on PS4, which there's literally no reason that the Xbox One and PS4 versions can't have rollback netcode. Literally zero reason other than choosing not to put it in, which means you have to upgrade and say that upgrade costs you 10 bucks. What does this mean? Well, they've effectively monetized rollback netcode, which if that's actually what they're doing is honestly kind of scummy. Especially this evil weekend, we're seeing like Persona 4 Arena finally get the rollback. They're adding rollback to Samurai Showdown, which is another very old game, right? No problem there, well, except for the Switch version, which that's its own thing. But uh, yeah, so there's zero reason the PS4 and Xbox One versions can't have rollback netcode. None. Absolutely none. So it looks like this upgrade path thing is a play to get money out of the player base to upgrade for rollback. Which, once again, I hope it's not the case. If it's free, great. Awesome. Thumbs up. But if it's not, that isn't good. Not to say the least, it splits the player base, because even though, like, say, King of Fighters, uh, Guilty Gear Strive, cross-play between PS4 and PS5 is not an issue. It's the easiest thing in the world, in fact, right? But if PS4 has the old bad net code and PS5 has the new rollback, you can't matchmake together. It's just not possible. I know I'm kind of doom and glooming here, but I'm just telling you, 
uh, how it is based on my opinion, what I'm seeing it as, right? And stuff like Xbox has said smart delivery, which normally used to mean it'd be a free upgrade, but that hasn't been the case for quite some while. Uh, it's a publisher decision if it's a free upgrade or not. Like stuff like the quarry, that is not a free upgrade. So basically, I would love to be wrong about this, right? I want to be wrong about this. I do not want this to be the case. Uh, it should be a free upgrade. It should be. It better be. Because if it isn't, well, that kind of sucks. But time will tell, I guess. So that is the news as it stands. Yay! Dragon Ball Fighters finally getting rollback, except not on PS4, which is where most people play it on. And uh, we'll see where that goes. And uh, there's no more updates. There's no more characters, which potentially, once again, a good thing, because now finally let's get work started on Dragon Ball Fighters 2, right? That said, let me know what you think, because I'm sure you might have some opinions on the matter, and just post that in the comments below. And Evo is still ongoing, so it's, oh my god, it's like 6 a.m. almost my time now recording this video. Uh, so uh, Evo's final day, there's going to be a lot of trailers, a lot of announcements, and of course, naturally, you can find that all on this channel. I'll be covering all of it. And until then, we're at the end of the video, so thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well, and go out and play some Dragon Ball.